Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's time for cross-country season. I'm joined by the head honcho, the head coach, Eric Schrick, in his second season. And Eric, now that you've had a full year to digest John Jay and the CUNYAC, what did you learn from last year that you're going to incorporate into this year? Uh, we had a tough time when I first got on as far as the numbers. Uh, as you know, cross-country is a seven-man sport, top five score. Um, you really can't. Uh, go beneath that. So we needed to do a lot of recruiting over the uh, off season, and uh, we have some promising people that are going to start up with us. Uh, we need we needed to start developing a culture. I mean, I have a style of coaching. I think it's it works, and uh, we just needed to establish that we want to win. And I'll, I'm very clear with that. And I tell the team. I said the goal is to win both genders every year and then make that something we've done and then win at a higher level. So it's a good starting point. It's a good reference. Uh, I, I, I handed the results out to everybody so they can understand where they are. And like you mentioned, with both teams too, whether it's Joe on the men's side or Nayeli or whatever returners you have, how much are you going to lean on to them um, to help continue your message and develop that culture? Joe especially, uh, he has been Joe Valiente, he's, uh, he's my captain for a second year. Uh, he's really taken a fantastic role in, in leading. Uh, not just so much, you know, at practice or eventually at the meets. Uh, he's good with what people need to do. This sport is 24 hours. I mean, yeah, I have you for two or three if we're lifting. But, I mean, it's a lifestyle. And he's very good with making sure the team is living that lifestyle. Because, like I tell him when I recruit him, if you live 100 years, your window of racing is 10 before biologically you start decaying. So why not make it the best you can? So he's very good with making sure that the team is living the lifestyle. On the women's side, we have a new captain, uh, Isabella Gentili. She is. She's amazing. She, she just knows what to do. It's just one of these leaders as a natural leader. She just knows what to do. She will stay on top of the women, make sure they're there, make sure that there's a meeting spot, make sure that paperwork is done, make sure everything is just, she's good. They both are a very exceptional team and they help me out tremendously. Yeah, and it's great to have that. But then also you were talking off camera how excited you are for the future and the young runners on your team too. That would be. Uh, we did a couple. We, uh, Luis Cesario is, is, is the guy I think I recruited from Northport High School. Uh, he's got a huge amount of potential. Um, when I was in high school, I used to race Northport. They were very tough. Their coach ran from my high school, so we have a good little network going on right there. We have other recruits from Northport that want to come up, so we're starting to get our name out there. On the women end, we have a young lady named Eva Garcia. She's from Oregon, the running capital of the world. Um, Eugene, actually, so I mean, I don't have to say much beyond that. She already understands when she came up for her visit. It, we just talked running. And it was just comfortable. I say this, she understands. I say that, she understands. There's no explanation needed. So we're looking for her to be great things. And again, we got to build teams around these people because otherwise it goes flat. You never can stop recruiting. It should be pretty exciting. You mentioned Long Island. You're going out to Long Island, the Adelphi Invitational. Now it's Labor Day weekend, so I, it might be better to actually just run out there instead of sitting in the traffic. But I know we're very excited for this season. That's Eric Schrick, and you can follow along on johnjathletics.com. First meet the Adelphi Invitational this Friday, September 2nd.